boy, don't have a whole lot to <laughs> comment on. Uh, man, I thought they punched us in the mouth, and uh, we didn't respond well, you know, on the defensive end of the floor. Um, for, for some reason, you know, we're, you know, going the other way defensively. So we just got to go back to the drawing board and, uh, and uh, work on preparing our kids defensively because we're, we're getting so much better offensively. But uh, defensively, uh, for some reason, we're going in a, the different direction. So we'll get better. Just got to go, got to go work. So. <laughs> uh, our, our guards struggled tonight, you know, uh, as well as a uh, Cal Poly game, if you can remember. And, um, you know, it's, it's a different level, you know, and sometimes the speed and physicality of the game, you know, gets to our young kids. And, you know, the, the more they see it, the better they'll get at it. You know, it's just being able to stay composed and be sound. And I, I it, the press did with what, you know, they wanted to do it either turned us over or made us play faster than we wanted to. So uh, we just got to work, you know. Again, it's all about reps and, the ex you know, getting the experience in those situations. And uh, we'll get better. Um, it's just timely, you know. The turnovers led to, let's see, it says 29 points. You know, and that's, I mean, if you look at all of the stats, you know, outside the timely offensive rebounds as well, um, I mean, that's the glaring stat. Obviously, send them to the foul line and, fouling too much, but um, I thought the turnovers really led to some easy opportunities for them. And, you know, anytime we're, we're going on a run, you know, we turn it over and now we're, we're fouling or they're getting a layup or open three. So we got to take care of the ball and our, our guards will get better. You know, they, you know, they haven't seen pressure at the division one level, you know, and not many teams press and, you know, you can't simulate, it's tough to simulate game situations in practice. So we got to do a better job of, you know, preparing them for that. And, uh, you know, we will. They'll get better. What is it positive you can take from the game tonight? You know, we had 21 assists. Um, we're shooting the ball. Uh, you know, cons you, you know, the last three games we shot the ball well. You know, I thought Emma finished, you know, well. And it's not just the fact that she, you know, like she had 21 points, but her activity defensively, she's rebounding the ball out of her space. And her, her positioning inside is better. She's taking her time. So, Sometimes you, you you know, I think from the outside sometimes you can see, but I mean, we know where these kids started and from day one, I mean, to now they've they've really improved. So there's a lot of small improvement that maybe you guys don't see, but we see it and it's tough after, ten, you know, a loss like we had tonight to, to really see those bright spots. But I mean, Naomi is consistently scoring double figures. She's being very aggressive and she's playing with confidence and that is going to be key for us going forward. And uh, again, Shanaysia, you know, she turned it over a lot tonight, but, she, you know, she had the ball in her hand a lot. And, you know, she'll get better. You know, and CeCe obviously is playing her heart out. She had a, a, a good game uh, statistically. I thought uh, Darshana, who we haven't been able to play all year because of injuries, I thought she came in and, and gave some good minutes, and she'll play a, a lot more going forward. So. Uh, so yeah, bright spots offensively. Just on the defense end, we're you know I, I didn't <laughs> wasn't many bright spots. So. Uh, speaking of which, Emma, how can we keep up the double play? Just doing the things that um, we go over in practice, and just remembering that that the stuff that coach tells us like really works. Sometimes you may not think it does, but <laughs> ultimately it works. <laughs> Usually. Don't fight it, Emma. Don't fight it. <laughs> and uh, Coach, looking ahead, what can the team work on against a game like uh, Houston? Oh, boy. Um, you know what? Yeah, I mean, uh, we watch, you know, CSUN, and they play hard. Jason does a good, good job uh, there. They play hard. They're physical. I just think right now it's about us, you know. Um, you know, we go over scouts and we prepare for other teams, but really, it's about us. You know, we have to do the fundamentally things defensively, whether we're, you know, we're, we're we have a scout or not. You know, um, I thought in the slow game and Davis game, we had breakdowns in the third. You know, the uh, third and fourth quarter. I thought tonight we just had breakdowns from beginning to end. 
you know, and uh, for some reason, and their style of play, I think dictate, di you know, dictates that a little bit, but or dictated that a little bit, but you know, we just gotta get back to the fundamentals. You know, our communication has to improve, and uh, we have to get back to what we were doing earlier in the season. You know, we're we're pretty good, you know, defensively, and uh, we just couldn't finish with the rebound. But we just got to, you know, get back to the basics. You know, we'll figure out, you know, what CSUN does and what we need to do to prepare for them. But really, it's just fundamentally, you know, uh, getting back to the basic things, of communicating, keeping people in front of you, knowing when to help, knowing when not to help, knowing who to help off of. You know, um, you know, it's just basic, you know, fundamental things. Oh, thank you.